Welcome to the Tampa Native Show. Stay tuned now for the most entertaining 60 minutes from the studios at TBCN, Tampa Bay Community Network. Join your hosts, Mario Nunez and Steve Canella, as they celebrate growing up in Tampa. From Shakey's to Shock Armstrong, Braddock Street and Buffalo Avenue, get ready to call in and tell us your stories, because sharing your memories has never been this much fun. The Tampa Native Show is brought to you by The Columbia Restaurant. And now, here's your hosts, Mario Nunez and Steve Canella. Welcome back, everybody, to this, the 14th and final week of production for the Tampa Native Show. We are so happy that you're there. Uh, for Coming back for the 14th week, thank you so much. And for those of you that are just joining us for the first week, and we know we get, we're collecting viewers each and every week. My name is Mario Nunez, and I'm sitting alongside my co-host, Steve Canella. And we'd like to thank you once again for tuning in this evening. A very special week indeed. A very special week indeed. Stevie, what do you think? Mario, I can't believe this is the uh, last show of the season. Where has it's, the time gone? Can I ask you, where it, has the time gone? You know, it's been amazing, every show, uh, every week, before we know it, it's Wednesday again. I don't know how the weeks are flying by so fast, but um, it's a little sad in a way, but it's also bittersweet, too, because we're yeah. starting a new season pretty soon as well. Yeah, and, and for those of you that uh, have been with us throughout the entire... You're going to miss us over the Christmas holidays, and, and, and quite frankly, we're going to miss you, too. So we took it upon ourselves, along with the 15-minute girl, who is always working on our set, uh, to bring in some, some very special little... Uh, accoutrement. Look over here, Steve. Looks have great. You, have you noticed over here we've got the Christmas tree, we've got the uh, Burl Ives character over here, we've got the George in the Box, we've got the uh, uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I used to love that show every year. I still do. In fact, George in the Box was the Island of Misfit Toys. Yes, he was. <laughs> yes, he was. And we just wanted to let you know that uh, as we move forward, we're looking forward to, to uh, coming back in January. We just learned today that uh, January 4th will be the, the, new, the first week of new production in our new facility. Uh, we found out tonight also from the administra uh, administrative staff here, easy for me to say, <laughs> that they're, uh, they're, they're working on our new, our new home, mm -hmm. um, which we're terribly excited about as well. We've got a couple of announcements that we need to, to take care of up front. Uh, we want to let you know that this Friday evening, uh, Mr. Johnny Sinchet, who uh, was here with us a couple of weeks ago, is uh, doing his book signing at uh, Great show. Uh, incredible at, uh, at Pickford's out there on Hillsborough Avenue. Saturday, we're having our Tampa Natives Columbia Restaurant Luncheon. So for those of you that have already uh, sent in your, uh, your monies for that, we thank you. For those of you that have already sent in your uh, entree request, because we, it's, it's, a, it's a banquet type setup. So we need to know in advance what you're going to be ordering so we can tell the chef. I've got to tell the chef tomorrow morning, in fact, uh, about that. We've got a list of people here that we're going we're gonna to shout out to those who haven't sent in their, their entree choices yet to make sure that they remind them to, uh, to send those in. And Sunday, the MDA Muscle Walk. That's uh, Muscular Dystrophy Association. And we've got a group of people. We need about three more people. So if, you've, if you're out there and you still haven't made your plans for this weekend, that's an early morning, 8 o'clock. It's a one-mile walk. Uh, all benefits to proceed Muscular Dystrophy Association here locally in the Tampa area. And, of course, we've been told that they're going to provide some uh, some warm, uh, some warm breakfast for us, and, and some some coffee as well, because I think it's going to be kind of cold on oh, Sunday yeah. morning. I'm loving this weather too. It's great, isn't it? Well, it's going to be. Oh, I know. <laughs> Listen, uh, when that front came through last night about mm -hmm. three in the morning, it kind of woke me up. A little bit of rain and a little bit of wind, and I understand that the uh, National Christmas tree there in New York Rockefeller Center uh, took a little bit of a beating today. There's a front that went through there with about 60 mile an hour winds. But be that as it may, we're happy that it's getting cooler. After all, it's the holiday season. It should be getting cooler. Um, <clears throat> tonight's show, what we're going to do, tonight's show, before we start it all off, we always do the same thing, kind of our format here, is to tell you uh, what the topic is going to be this week, and then give you kind of our remembrance of that particular topic. But before we do any of this, and we've got a lot of pictures to get through, mm -hmm. Stevie, so we're oh. going to have to get rolling pretty quick. Yeah. We want to we share something incredibly mm -hmm. special with you. I'm going to let you do a little bit of the setup, Steve, and then throw it back to me, and, and we'll call for it in the booth, you know. Tell, tell, tell them what we found out today from one Mike Baluha. Well, this is amazing today. We've, we found a little uh, Mike Baluha, who is our, uh, one of our production uh, uh, technicians, mm -hmm. and he created a, a little mini video, which mm -hmm. we're going to see pretty soon, aren't we, Mario? Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it is unbelievable. Uh, it's great music. It's got a great beat to it. It's, it's energetic. It's got a good beat to it. It's, it's soft. It's smooth. It's, it just 
It's perfect for this show, and it's it's Tampa. And don't you have to throw out there? Don't you have to throw out? It's easy to dance too, because I, I felt you, like you I felt well, like you missed that. One. I was tapping my foot too well, uh, earlier today. Uh, we're gonna call I for was. it in just a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, to give you guys uh, that are just joining us a little background on Mike Baluha. Mike Baluha came to the show early in the production mm -hmm. cycle, in the production season, with some technical savvy and some technical expertise. Part-time musician, part-time. Uh, dabbler in the uh, visual arts and sciences, knows his way around a computer. Today he called us into his laboratory <laughs> behind his that's house. What it is. Yeah, it surely is. And uh, he said, hey guys, listen, I, I've been working on something and I, and I just want to share it with you. It was one of those moments, and I get goosebumps just, uh, just telling you about it. It's one of those moments when, you know, things just kind of come together and you, I can only imagine what it must have been like Barry Gordy up there in Motown in the 60s when, uh, you know, maybe he heard Marvin Gaye for the first time or he heard Diana Ross and the Supreme singing. Because this particular tune it turned things around for us. We want to share it with you now. So if you've got the remote control close by, turn your speakers up a little bit. It's got 45, 46 seconds worth of it. And we're going to use this next season as our intro and our theme song. Minute 21 seconds. And I can't get that song out of my head, Mario. I'm just see, see if you can keep yeah. your feet from tapping a minute. <laughs> Go ahead and, and, and let, let's share that with our viewers, uh, Jeffrey. Thank you. I remember Tampa, the way she used to be, the places we would run to, the faces we would see. Yes, I remember Tampa, her sweet soft memory, a city rising on the moon, a simple yet progressive groove. Yes, I remember Tampa. She remembers me. I'm a Tampa native. Tampa native, can't you see? I will share my story with you to preserve its history. I, I remember, I remember. Isn't well, that a catchy tune? Well, 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 well. <laughs> Mr. Baluha, you have done something quite magical and quite special mm -hmm. there, and thank you for that effort. Um, I love it. We'll open up the phone lines here in just mm -hmm. a couple of minutes. Stevie, why don't we take a second? Absolutely. As we, as we commence mm -hmm. to roll through the mm -hmm. photos, because we've got so many, Jeffrey Carte Blanche in the director's booth there to go ahead and roll exactly. photos as you see fit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ahead and tell you that this week what we asked to do, look at, this, <laughs> look at the first image that comes up. This week what we asked our viewers to do was send in a, your picture, mm -hmm of uh, yourself or your group or your entourage uh, holding up a sign that says quite affectionately I am a Tampa Natives show fan. Uh, so the first image that we get is this one here from uh, our archivist and, and dear friend Dan Perez and Danny sends us this one. This one coming at you here is from Rick Parnell, Rick T. Parnell and of course he's, uh, he's a Tampa Natives fan. We, we're, we're, we're seeing color bars in here Jeffrey can you see that in the uh, booth as well? Or what are our friends seeing at home? Well, we're hoping that they're seeing everybody okay. The TriCaster may have had a little issue there. Um, we got the Tampa Natives fans. So this week, what we're going to ask, uh, we, we asked our, our people to do was to send in, there's their image, to send in their images. That's Dan Perez. Of course, the ever-present, ever-popular, <laughs> ever-crazy, kooky, and wild and wacky, Dan Perez. <laughs> And, that, and apparently that's what Dan looks like. He looks like a Tampa Native and, and a fan. He's got a great sense of humor, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. That's perfect. And we appreciate him. And there's Ricky T. Parnell from who Brazil. Come, comes to us. He's our, our foreign independent correspondent all the way from <laughs> Curitiba, Brazil. That's Ricky T. Parnell, Tampa native. Um, you go ahead and roll through those real quick. And we'll give those nice folks a shout out, Jeffrey, as you do that. And then we're going to go ahead and remind everybody what our shows were like. This There's Mike, Mike White. White, Mike who lives in Riverview. Mike has been with us since week one. Thanks, Mike, for being out there. And of course... He's showing that he's a Tampa fan. Look at that. I mean, he's got how many fans he's, in his house? He's got there? the same humor, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Well, I think that, I think that Danny started <laughs> something that. It was there. really hot that day. I don't... He ran. Yeah, he ran with it. Of course, the next photograph is, um, is Mike's, Mike's wife, Kathy. And Kathy, of course, is a fan. And they're wearing their Tampa Natives jersey. Can you ask for much more? No, that's perfect. Incredible stuff. We had some nice responses this we week. We sure did, didn't we, Mario? Our was, next, it was great. Our next, 
Yeah, the, the next image is oh, there's Angelo. There's Angelo Romori, and Angelo with his nice uh, homemade sign there. Great picture, Angelo. Thanks for sending that in. Here we go. This is our. This is one of our dearest friends and, our, and our, one of our biggest fans, Mr. Hugh Perret. Go ahead, Stevie. Well, well and uh, you may see where it says ice cream under that. Tampa Natives equals ice cream. Mm -hmm. We went to visit Hugh Perret a couple of weeks ago, as he was one of our lucky um, Belita Drawing Number winners, mm -hmm. and uh, he described the Tampa Native show as ice cream. Yeah, that was I mean, that was that was a, Hugh's slogan for us. Yeah, he said, "Listen, a, I got I got something you guys <laughs> need to know." He says, "Because the Tampa Native show, we came up with Tampa Natives. Mm -hmm. Sharing your memories has never been this much fun." And of course, Hugh trumps us. I don't know where he comes up with the Tampa Native show. It's like ice cream. How can you argue with that? It was perfect. So thank you for that, Hugh, <laughs> and thanks for being one of our terrific fans every week. We, we hope that he calls in tonight. Um, the next image hmm. is Juan and Amarilis Santayana. And uh, that's a great shot. We got that just this morning. Oh, just today. Just today. Just today. Great Café Con Leche, by the way. And, uh, and a place where uh, the, those who go to be, yeah, see and be seen. This is the gentleman who uh, created that incredible uh, new intro for the show. And the Tampa, he effectively refers to it as the Tampa Natives theme song. That's Mr. Mike Baluja. Thank you, Michael. And there he is. You see him in his laboratory uh, with the microphone behind him there. Mario, what a season we've had this year. No. I mean, uh, it's, you know, it's been uh, incredible. I, I didn't bring any Kleenex mm -hmm. with me. I hope I don't need any tonight, but uh, I'm, you know, uh, sad a little bit. I got to be yeah, honest with you. In case you need it, we have Yeah, some thank music. you. Thank you so much. Do we have another image there, Jeffrey? Well, oh, look there at who's go. there. Look, we, this is Mr. Phil Testa, PJ Testa. Phil, there you go. With his I'm a Tampa Native show fan. There you go. That's a great shot. We saw Phil this morning and collected that photo image as well. And I think we have one more. If I'm not mistaken. There we go. Well, that's Mr. and Mrs. Nunez, <laughs> Phil and Carmen. That's a great picture. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for that wonderful entry as well. We just had a great season. And, and you know, it, it, the portent is for great mm -hmm. things to come. Now, mm -hmm. let's give everybody a quick review of the topics. And then, Jeffrey, feel free to mm -hmm. roll pictures as, as you see fit with the timing involved. And what we did this week, for those that are just joining us, mm -hmm. uh, what we did this season was we decided each and every week that we would pick a new topic. And uh, we let everybody know, say, Sunday, Monday of the week so they can get their stories together. Some of them admit, uh, submitted them to us in the mm -hmm. form of an email, and others certainly called in when we asked for their calls. And the shows went a little something like this. Week one mm -hmm. was a little crude for us. Steve and I really didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> we had the training wheels firm on the bike. We were holding on for dear life. And when they told us, three, two, one, you're on the air, we didn't know what to expect. But the first week, we took it easy on everybody, and we took it easy on ourselves, too. The first topic was simply the elementary school, junior high, and high school that you went to and the year you graduated. I think we got about 18 calls that very first show. The second week, Steve? second one was uh, CTRDs, which is really uh, City of Tampa Playgrounds. Another great show. City of Tampa Recreation mm -hmm. Department Playgrounds. That oh, was yeah. a pretty good show, too. Then mm -hmm. things got real interesting in week three. The topic was how you spent your Saturday mornings. And now we're starting to get mm -hmm. a little feel for how this operation works week mm -hmm. by week. Of course, we're getting uh, weekly appearances from the 15-minute mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. She's just starting to spread her wings a little bit. Week four? We kind of got into a rhythm at that point, didn't we? Oh, well, week it, four. It's, we started to get a little bit yeah. of momentum by week three. Exactly. Week exactly. four? That was restaurants, your favorite restaurants, cafeterias, lunch counters of our youth. And that was another great show. A lot of good pictures, too. A lot of great pictures. And by this oh, yeah. time, we're starting to incorporate mm -hmm. pictures, like the ones you see coming up behind us. Mm -hmm. That's Chan's Hobby Shop. And that's, of course, what some people did on their Saturday mornings. Uh, week five was all those crazy things we did as kids. That was fun. And lived to tell about it. And Steve had some incredible stories himself of thinking, you were a crazy kid. You know I, that, was. I was. I was, Mario. We had a, by now, our, our viewers are starting to understand how the format of the mm -hmm. show works, and we're getting calls hot and heavy. Week six was a very special week. Week six was very special. That was our first in-studio guest, who was Richard Gonsmart of uh, Columbia Restaurant. And that was a great show. Uh, he connected so well with our viewers. We got a lot of calls, and they kind of touched uh, Richard's heartstrings. Didn't yeah, they? and and now and by now mm -hmm. we're we're in full we're in full uh, stride. Yes, uh, the show is in full swing. And Richard again was our first live mm -hmm. guest, and of course the Columbia Restaurant mm -hmm. is the sponsor of our show this season. So it, it had special significance. Week seven was Tampa Natives Friday Night mm -hmm. Football. What you did on your Friday nights. And, and how you spent your Friday nights when you were in high school and what high school you went to and what you did after the games. That was a pretty fun show. These are all great topics, too, weren't they? Week number eight. Number eight, Little League Baseball. And this, uh, another special guest, too. It was uh, mm -hmm. Lou Pinella and Bucky Delatore, our special in-studio guests. And another fantastic show. 
Yeah, great pictures. Mm -hmm. And that, that show started out to be a discussion about Little League Baseball growing mm -hmm. up in Tampa, and before we knew it, it sort of became a Lou Pinella, this is your life kind of a story, <laughs> uh, a, a show. Yeah. And, and But those were some of the mm -hmm. most in, uh, inspiring and touching phone calls. And we're so grateful that, mm -hmm. that uh, Bucky was able to get Lou to come on the show, and, and we're looking forward to having Lou on next season and we all had well. goosebumps, didn't we? Oh. I did. I certainly oh, did. Sure. And I was sitting about two feet from Lou. <laughs> um, week six, week nine, excuse mm -hmm. me, now rolling right along, week nine was uh, the first appearance of uh, mm -hmm. two guys that... Uh, uh, really struck a chord with a lot of our viewers. We had Dr. Paul Bearer and uh, Groucho <laughs> Marx sitting in the studio for for us. They came in and, and did the show, and, and that Halloween show, well, we saw a whole new side of Dr. Paul mm -hmm. Bearer that we hadn't seen before. And, and by now, we're getting 16, 17 calls each and every week. Week 10. Okay, week 10, that was movie theaters and the movies we saw there. Mm -hmm. Another great show. Week, okay. week 11 was a special Veterans Day celebration. Uh, it was a, it was a uh, tribute to those Tampa natives that served their country in the armed forces, and, uh, and that was uh, a real special show. Very special. Real special show. Thank you for all of our viewers uh, who sent in their pictures of their loved ones who, uh, who served in the armed forces. That was Veterans Day. Week 12. Mario, week 12 was uh, Johnny Sinchet, and that was uh, called Tampa Ablaze with Neon Signs, and mm -hmm. of course his father and grandfather made most of the neon signs in Tampa back in the 50s and 60s. Fantastic show. And last week, week number 13, we, uh, we had a, a second showing, a second visit uh, from those two wacky, crazy <laughs> guys, Dr. Paul Pilgrim and Indian Groucho, to help us celebrate Thanksgiving. And of course, we failed to mention that on the Halloween show, we had an appearance also by the Wiggy Weejo with Tampa. That's right. Uh, she was here in studio with us, and uh, the 15-minute girl has been uh, gaining... Uh, her own confidence each and every week, and we, we're fearful because we might lose her next season to a spinoff show of her own, so we've got to be careful with that. <laughs> with that, now that you know, ladies and gentlemen, what our rundown was for this year, we want to ask, as we put up the phone line um, and solicit for your phone calls, mm -hmm. what was your favorite show or perhaps a favorite moment from this first inaugural season? Also, uh, tell us maybe what you'd like to see us talk about next season. If you have an idea, we'll certainly take that and, and write it down. Uh, we'll also uh, ask for your uh, Lucky Bolita drawing number. So hard by your phones. If you've got mm -hmm. your cell phones in hand, now's the time to start dialing up. Stevie, tell them that number. The number is 813-254-7820. Uh, 813-254-7820. 813 so sounds please call in. We want to hear from you. Sounds like a telethon right there. That number it is 813-254-7820. <laughs> Operators are... Operators mm -hmm. are standing by. And you can also send us an email. There you go. We've got our first caller. Look at that, Johnny Weissmuller Perfect. at the Springs Theater. That's, Steve, that's take that away. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name, where you're calling from. Chris Frame. Hey, Steve, how you doing? Hey, Chris Frame. And Chris Frame, by the way, is a, a childhood friend of mine from a long, yeah. long time ago. Hey, uh, don't, don't make me feel so old. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hi, Chris. <laughs> hey, how, how you doing, Mario? Good, very good. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think the favorite show I had, uh, I haven't been able to watch them all, but the uh, crazy thing we did on Saturday, you were definitely right, Steve, uh, was a nut. <laughs> did on a lot of the things that he did, so. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, Chris, some of those things that, that, we, that I did, you, you were right there with me, so we're yeah. both kind of crazy, I guess. You know? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm saying, we were uh, partners in crime. That's Appa you apparently was. you were his inspiration and vice versa. That's, those uh, were some wonderful stories. I still chuckle every time he tells the story about the horse that got away. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. How over did by Egypt Lake uh, School? They used to have that little stable right across the street. It was uh, pretty neat. I wish it was still there. And, and what Chris is referring to is uh, we we went horseback riding one day as kids, probably uh, 13, 14 years old, yeah. at Egypt Lake uh, Community Center. Mm -hmm. uh, they asked if we'd been on horses before, and of course, I think a lot of there's about five of us, and most of them had. Although I've never been on a horse in my life, uh -huh. and of course, I raised my hand and said, "Yeah, I have. I didn't want to be put on a pony, you know." So. I uh, got on the big horse, and as soon as all the five or six horses um, crossed uh, Sly Avenue and hit the uh, field for Egypt Lake Elementary School, horses took off running full speed. I mean, it was like a it was like a cowboy and Indian movie, and I was hanging on for dear life. I don't know how I didn't get thrown off or fall off, but I, I, I somehow survived, you know. But uh, well, I'm glad we all did. Steve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was just one thing we've done. But Chris, do you have a, a topic that maybe you might like to see us uh, cover next next season? 
Yeah, I think uh, something on uh, the, the history of wrestling in the Tampa area oh. would be really awesome. That's you know, good, Chris. It, it didn't take very long before <laughs> that topic came up, and, and Steve and I were talking before the show, uh, what was the over and under and how many minutes it would take? I, I, th I thought it would take maybe two or three calls, but, you know, right out of the box. Listen, we've had a lot of mm -hmm. folks uh, talking about that, and we're working on some special stuff where that's concerned because Tampa, a lot of people may or may mm -hmm. not know, uh, steeped in history, uh, the history. NWA, the National Wrestling Alliance, mm -hmm. uh, the World Championship Wrestling from Florida, Gordon Soley, mm -hmm. and all of that. Oh, yeah. We were very fortunate mm -hmm. and uh, lucky in a lot of respects to have that right here in our own backyard. Uh, don't you worry mm -hmm. about that, Chris. Uh, we're going to have that show next season. And how about that lucky Bolita drawing number? Uh, let's see, 17. Oh, seven. Okay. Is that your favorite number, Chris? Uh, no, it just sounds good. It does. Listen, that is my favorite number. To those people that know me, I've worn that, that number since mm -hmm. I was in high school many, many years mm -hmm. ago. I just, just wondered if I had to share that with you now. 17 is a pretty cool number. And Chris, what we're, what we're uh, raffling off tonight is a book. It's called Tampa Treasures Cookbook. Right. It's been uh, hermetically sealed in my, uh, in my house for the last 15 years in a box. And, and if, uh, and if yeah, anybody knows Steve, and I know you do, Chris, uh, this will never be used <laughs> by Steve. <laughs> because I don't believe Steve cooks. <laughs> I know he eats a lot of Panera's, but I, I, don't, I don't believe he cooks. So, uh, he loves Panera, that's for sure. Yes, he does. And there's a good chance that if nobody else calls tonight, which is hard to believe, uh, you might win this. So, <laughs> that, sounds good. We have that to look forward to. Chris, thanks so much for calling and for being one of our fans this year, and we look forward to uh, hearing more from you next mm -hmm. season. Yeah, I love, love the show, man. It's great. And uh, Steve, take care. You too, Chris. Let's go get some lunch, man. Yeah, let's do that for sure. All right. Thanks, thanks for calling. You. Happy holidays, Chris. Thank you. You know, think, talking about topics, I mean, it, we'll never run out of topics for the show. I don't think so. I mean, it could take 20 years, and we'll still never run out of topics. I mean, it's, it's totally endless, whether it's wrestling, baseball. Uh, it's nonstop, you well, know, just restaurants. We, we were very fortunate mm -hmm. to have grown up in Tampa mm -hmm. uh, at the time that we did. Uh, the small town that it was, mm -hmm. you know, you went much, we discussed this week one, uh, mm -hmm. much beyond Hillsborough and, uh, or Bush. Uh, you lost the city lights. Mm -hmm. uh, West Tampa was uh, the far west reaches. Uh, you know, really West Shore Mall didn't come into existence right. until the middle 60s. Uh, so, you know, Tampa was a small uh, bedroom community, a very close-knit one. And uh, we're very, very fortunate to have grown up then. There's no place like Tampa here. I mean, it's very unique. In fact, um, the Tampa Native Show actually is helping to, um, it's, it's provided a, a, a format or a, a platform for um, for bringing back the memories of the, of the history of Tampa, and it's, it's just been fantastic, though. So, and also the uh, social networking site, too. There's a lot of pictures up there mm -hmm. to view. But Currently. But this format here, the actual Tampa Native Show format, is actually allowing people to call in um, and seeing a picture online and, and, you know, an old picture of Tampa and bringing back your memories that way, that's one thing. Um, but actually hearing people call in and hearing their voices and you hear the passion in their voice when they call, the emotion, that's a whole different level. And we all got goosebumps during every show, Mara and I, we, we, um, we get goosebumps every, every call just about. Uh, when we had the guest, Lou Pinella, we had Richard Gonsmart, and mm -hmm. we had uh, Johnny Sinchin. Johnny Sinchin as they, well. They experienced that as well that night. On, and and uh, I think a lot of yeah. our callers do too. Speaking mm -hmm. of callers, oh, let's go to the lines right now. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name mm -hmm. and tell us where you're calling from. Yes, uh, this is Hugh from uh, Tampa. I got a real bad cold, but I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed the uh, program and look forward to next year. Uh, other than the uh, wrestling, I'd like to see a show on various TV and radio personalities, such as Salty Saul Flashman, oh, yeah. uh, you know, Mary Ellen, she was mentioned, but uh, just different TV local personalities, uh, Arch Deal, you know, all of the old TV personalities. Hugh, Hugh how about Barney Bungalupper? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And his sidekick, Hector mm -hmm. Hambone. Let me just mm -hmm. throw this out there at you, Hugh. Uh, uh, a hot tea? A little bit of lemon, uh -huh. a little bit of honey, yeah, and a whole lot of whiskey, my man, okay? A whole lot of whiskey. A whole lot. Better. All right? And if nothing else, you, you, you probably won't get rid of your cold, but you'll feel a lot better. I promise you that. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Hugh, do you have a, a, a lucky number we can put down for you? Do you want me to go ahead? Of course. Listen, mm -hmm. hey, that's the way we do things around here, okay? <laughs> we don't discriminate. Okay. You call, you put in a number, you got a chance. I'll tell you what, I took 32 last time. I'll take 23 this time. Oh, Just turn Mike, it around. Mike Padrini's okay. going to be upset with you. <laughs> Mike Padrini, he got you again, big pumpkin. All right, Hugh, thank you so much. Hey, take care of yourself, okay? Thank you very much. Look forward to the second season. Happy holidays, and thanks so much for being there for us. You too. Bye-bye now. Bye, Hugh. Thank you, Hugh. That was big. You correct. Our fans are, are great, aren't they? Well, one thing for sure. 
uh, undeniable. Mm -hmm. This show has connected on on so many different levels with, with so many people. Uh, Steve and I uh, will spend a, an afternoon or two together, whether we're out in the community, mm -hmm. uh, you know, working sponsorships for the show. Because let's face it, you know, uh, it helps when we have a little bit of funding, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the show. Uh, and we spend we'll spend a couple of hours together. We'll go to some businesses and we'll talk to some people and. Invariably, people tell us the same thing all mm -hmm. the time. Man, that mm -hmm. show, I caught it the other night for the first time. You know, I hadn't seen it. Somebody told me about it, and what a great show. Uh, and, and, you know, Steve and I are not arguing with that because we're here. You know, we hear it on the telephone lines. The 15-minute girl, she's just mm -hmm. off camera over there. And, you know, she's here to keep us grounded. But the truth of the matter is she's there, too. She feels it, too. And when you're sitting across uh, the table from uh, somebody like a Lou Pinella, or mm -hmm. Richard Gunsmart, and they're sitting here, and Johnny Sinchet, the same thing, Bucky, the same thing. And they, you know, you can see it in their eyes. You can hear it in their voice that this is, uh, this is a, a real special deal. So thank you so much, callers. We got one, we got two open lines right now, so mm -hmm. give us a call, Steve. Um, while we're waiting for calls, is there a special moment that uh, you remember from this season or even a special mm -hmm. show or topic? Like a favorite show, maybe? Sure. Um, well, I mean, it's been an incredible season, actually, and, and mm -hmm. there's a, all the shows were just fantastic. I love them all. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of like trying to pick a uh, favorite show is like picking a favorite ice cream. You know, I like them all. So. Yeah, yeah. But I'm going to say uh, in front of the uh, mm -hmm. Tampa Bay Community Network viewing mm -hmm. audience uh, that tonight, uh, for better for worse, for richer for poor, you're going to pick a damn show. <laughs> okay, you're not going to do this, uh, <laughs> you, uh, play the politic thing. Well, you know, answer the question. <laughs> And, and look into the camera, whether it's camera one or two. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Okay. Because I've got to. Okay. And I think the people would like to know what, if we had a favorite show. Okay, well, I'll, I'll have to say. You're on the spot. I'll have to say, um, my favorite show would be the Halloween show. Mm -hmm. Because, I, you know, my character, Dr. Paul Bearer, growing up as a kid, I loved Creature Feature, and I loved watching Dr. Paul Bearer. And it was pretty obvious if you if you did see the Halloween or the Thanksgiving show, mm -hmm. or should I say Thanksgiving show. Mm -hmm. There but, he is. Uh, Welcome back. Just totally... Uh, loved doing that character it was just just a blast and i think listen and mm -hmm. i think the people that were out there watching mm -hmm. picked up on that and we loved it too and i'm sitting i've been sitting next to you for 14 <laughs> weeks now and i tell you what i i got a charge out of it i'll come back after this phone call and mm -hmm. tell you my favorite show okay. of the season as well <laughs> caller you're on the air tell us your name and where you're calling from hi hey, this is big mike the big uh oh this is and there he is <laughs> the big pumpkin the big one out and our orlando <laughs> correspondent big mike uh -oh. hey mike I got the Kleenex next to me, and you guys look terrific tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the show in bits and pieces, oh. but you know what? It's just, uh, man, it's a sad day. But you know what? The new season's coming up. Yes, that's right. That's yes. right. Yes, and 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 we we're very fortunate too that we have uh, Jeffrey Haynes, who is our our producer, our director, mm -hmm. uh, or as Dr. Paul would say, our production mangler, <laughs> uh, and he's he's very adept at putting these shows uh, together and up on our. Uh, social networking site usually mm -hmm. within 24 to 48 hours so hang in there if it's in fits and starts tonight if you're not getting the whole show because uh, Jeffrey will have it up there for mm -hmm. us probably uh, by what, as, uh, Saturday uh, the show is, is terrific you guys I mean the concept is unbelievable it's touching so many people it's growing growing going the show's growing every week it's just moving along just terrific and you know the talent you've had in there with some Chad and, mm -hmm. and and mr. guns and everything else is, is unbelievable and I've been a I know about production. I've been a stagehand for over 20 years, and I know there's a lot of people to thank besides you guys, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's, you know, to put, to put production together, and uh, it's all positive things, and let me tell you something. I, I just, uh, I can't tell you, man. This whole show has meant so a lot to me, and not be living in, in Orlando anymore, but it's my connection to there, and mm -hmm. growing up, and just something so special to everybody, and I know it, it, it hits so many hearts, and uh, uh, true as Steve Cannell and you, what a team, terrific, and you the 15-minute girl, of course, you got to talk about her. Absolutely. Uh, it, it was, it, it's just uh, it's sad, but it's good because I know it's going to move on and do better. Well, let me throw, mm -hmm. let me throw this ahead, out Mike. there real quick, Steve. I want you to say something mm -hmm. to Mike as well. Um, for me personally, Mike, and you've been calling just about every week, and it's something that Steve and I look forward to, by the way. It's not like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's like, oh, yeah, Mike didn't call tonight. What happened? <laughs> you know, I hope he's okay kind <laughs> of a thing. About him, yeah. But for me, the highlight of your calls, if I have to pick one, it was probably... The Veterans Day show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When, if I'm not mistaken, if my ears didn't fool me, uh, Big Big Mike, Big Pumpkin, Big One, I got a little choked up when he talked about his deal and his service to the country. You know, and, and I didn't. It didn't. Wasn't lost on me, Michael, because I got a little verklempt mm -hmm. on that one myself. So you know, it's been that way for us every week, and uh, that was a special week in particular. 
and, all heartfelt, you know. And, and it's like uh, like I am now. But anyway, uh, yeah, and, and I really appreciate that. And, and, and that was actually, you know, truly heartfelt. And I really look forward to it. We this. felt that, Mike, too. Sure. We, we felt do it. next week. Well, Modern Family. Okay, I can record that. Well, <laughs> <am> I? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got your topic uh, for an upcoming show down as wrestling because, I, you know, we've mm -hmm. already talked about that. So, and, and if you were listening a mm -hmm. moment ago, I don't know if you heard it or not, but Hugh Perret, who called just before you, Right. Well, I think he got you, man, on your number, man. He got you mm -hmm. on your number. Don't you usually pick well, yeah, 23? Yeah, that's right at one. Don't you usually pick 23? Oh, come on. 23 is my number. He got you. He said 23. And boom, right. boom, just like that. He was sin pena. He got you, bro. So now you got to come up with a number. Now what's the other one? You turned it around on us the last time. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to do, what's, what's, the, what's the, the show today? What, what, are you, what are we giving away today? What is it? Oh, the what show number? No, no, like 14, 15, what is it? 14, Papa. This is it. I'm taking 14. There you oh, go. okay. There you go. Good strategy. For the 15. Today. Wonderful. 15, 16, and 17, too. Are we going to see you on Saturday? Have you made, is that a game time decision for you? Well, yeah, I can't, but I, I tell you, it really, I really want to be there, and, and I was even going to walk that mile. Mm -hmm. Oh. Does mm -hmm. it start at one bar and go to the other? <laughs> <laughs> That's Sunday in Brandon for the MDA walk. I was thinking the Columbia luncheon. Are we going to see you at that? You can't make it. I mean, unfortunately, I can't. Be. Okay. We have previous commitments, and I tried to get out of it, but we'll forget about it. I know you did. I thought of it. I know you did. Well, that's already. But you know what? I'm going to see you guys soon. We're going to be in touch. Yes. Jose Feliciano says, the great Jose Feliciano says, Feliz Navidad. <laughs> Espero, año, Espero Año Nuevo. To you and your family, okay? <laughs> I love you, man. Mike, love thank you, you so much. Right back at you, big Mike. Gunsmart, can you get that secret shopper pass for me? <laughs> yes. I'm you, only kidding. <laughs> you got to call him. He, offer, he tendered the offer to you. He tendered that offer. All right. I know he did. We're going to hold him to it. Yes. I need to get a copy of this show. I love you guys. You're tremendous. Thanks thank for you, being Mike. such a loyal fan, Mike. Thank I appreciate you, Mike. that. All right. Bye. All the best. Mario, we no, got to talk about this picture. picture. For a Come on, Come, okay. This is, okay, okay. Yes, yes. This it, is it, my it. second favorite picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll talk about the first one later. But this one here, the reason why this is my favorite picture, this five-year-old girl or, or young girl is sitting on the back of Sheena the elephant from Laurie Park mm -hmm. Zoo, and behind her, of course, you can see is is um, a chimpanzee, full-grown chimpanzee with his arm around her. Unbelievable. But it's the it's the picture itself that makes me think back of my childhood, when uh, it was it was parents, I guess. A little more, they gave me, I was grateful for my parents, I guess you might say, for giving me the freedom to do what I wanted to do as a kid and more of a hands-off approach. Like if you want to go outside and play all day, that's fine. Come back, you know, when, it, when it's dark. Mm -hmm. But it was more of a, an attitude, I guess, of uh, parents just letting, letting, my parents letting us be kids. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they probably wouldn't have done that maybe. But, well, no, no, you mentioned a moment ago know. parents who were uh, mm -hmm. more of a hands-off approach. Mm -hmm. And that would be as opposed to that chimpanzee who has a very much hands-on approach. Uh oh where's Because I'm, I'm thinking, you know, uh, if you let your child get on the back mm -hmm. of a, uh, a small elephant, or doesn't matter, large or small elephant, mm -hmm. and then on top of that put a, a monkey on her back, quite literally, <laughs> I don't know if, if health and rehabilitative <laughs> services wouldn't be at your house next week with the black bands <laughs> wanting to ask you some questions. Just imagine that nowadays. That wouldn't, that well, wouldn't happen. Well, you get arrested. <laughs> you get a child abuse. There's something wrong with that picture. But, uh, um, real quick, can I tell you my favorite show of the absolutely. season? Absolutely. I want to hear it. You know, you stole my thunder a little bit when you said the Dr. Paul show. Oh, okay. Halloween well, show, because to be honest with you, uh, that was my favorite show, too. But I'll give that one to Steve, because that okay. was Steve's coming out moment where, you know, he rediscovered himself as Dr. Paul, and, <laughs> and it was a, a gas for everybody. Um, I, you know, taking into consideration what we, had, what we had to go, there he is. There's Dr. Paul and Groucho. What a great night that was. <laughs> that was a fun night. But taking into consideration all we had to go through to get the next, to, to get, uh, to, to get, Lou Pinella in studio with us. And, and the fact that ba Little League Baseball was such an incredible part of mm -hmm. my, my youth and my life, really, and truthfully, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give, a, by a nose, by a nose, the Lou Pinella, the Little League Baseball show. That was just, that was- That a, was a great show. That was a it high was, water mark mm -hmm. for, for us. And then from there, we used that to springboard and jump mm -hmm. on to mm -hmm. the next level. Well, we, we had a caller there, and all of a sudden the caller went Caller, away. please call back. Call back. In fact, uh, and we, we'll shut up. Yeah. And we'll, we'll, we'll get the call. <laughs> just, you know, we're talking because it's, we're not going to be able to talk to you for four weeks. So we exactly. had to, we'll talk a little bit tonight. There he is. There's that was a great photo. That was, uh, mm -hmm. that was a, you can tell everybody's smile in that picture mm -hmm. that that was a night that uh, we, we won't soon forget. Let's go to the we call. got a caller. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Butch from Land of Lake. Oh, hey, Butch. Hi, Butch. What's up, buddy? How are you? All right, all right. Y'all looking good tonight. Oh, thank, thank you. You, you know, we, we dressed it up a little bit. What do you think? <laughs> we do all right? Yeah, you did fine. You did fine. There you go. Nice white shirt, you know. 
<laughs> we left the ties off because that was a little too formal, but we dressed up the set, you know? Nice, nice. Hey, did you have a favorite show this uh, this season, Butch? Definitely the Halloween show was uh, really? was the, my favorite. See? I told you, brother. What did, what did you uh, like about it? And uh, to bring Harry Carey back might be a good idea, too. Oh, you know? That's true. That, hey, that that's was true. a great show. Thanks for reminding us of that mm -hmm. because uh, that was kind of cool. That was a little dream sequence mm -hmm. that Groucho had mm -hmm. that uh, where he was a baseball player and uh, his name was Willie Miranda <laughs> and he was being interviewed by the great, late, great Harry <laughs> Carey. It's pretty good stuff. Yeah, hey, did yeah, did yeah. you happen to hear by chance? The, uh, the song that Mike Maluha created for us for next season. Did you happen to catch that? Yes, I did. It, it did have a, a catchy uh, tune to it. Didn't it, though? Mm -hmm. Didn't it? And, and there's, that's the short version, because there's, it's about three minutes long, the, the full-length version. That's a great job. And uh, there's a whole second stanza there, and, the, you know, good, good stuff. So mm -hmm. I'm glad. Hey, any topic that you might like us to uh, bring up next season? Yeah, I was just thinking maybe a former Tampa uh, baseball players that are in the uh, major leagues that are that are uh, not playing any longer or currently playing in the maybe in the off season and playing. Okay, but okay. There's, there's a lot of baseball players that play in mm -hmm. the big leagues that were from Tampa. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. So you know, it's just be a topic. You can well, here's the mm -hmm. other thing we'll ask you too. If you have any contacts with any of these guys that you might be able to, uh, you know, put us in contact with, maybe we'll go get a, a cafe con leche. We'll have a, you know, uh, sit down and, and see if they might want to come on the show. That'd be great. Well, there's a few I might be able to come up with. That'd be mm -hmm. great. That'd be great. Let's talk. Let's talk yeah. as we get closer to the holiday. Okay, we we'll definitely do that. Lucky number. Yeah, you know I'm a two-time winner at this. Hey, oh, listen, right. you, and and you could be you could be going for the record, the hat trick. <laughs> this is it. You ready? Yes. I'm going for 44. Oh, 44. hey, here we go. Look, 44. <laughs> Coincidentally, that was the channel that uh, right. Dr. Paul did his thing on, right? Channel 44. 44. Exactly what it was. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys, y'all did wonderful, and uh, we'll see you next season. Happy holidays. Thank you, Butch. You too, buddy. All right, Butch. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. That's Ballers, Ponce yeah. de Leon Park. There Look at is. that picture. That was when we did the uh, CTRDs. CTRDs. Yes, that was a great uh, backdrop. I mean, look at how many kids are on that playground. Look at that. And how many of us grew up. Look at the line for the slide. No, no, no. I mean, look at the slide. Look at the swings. Where's that wheel of death thing? You know, it's just off. It's just out of the frame there. That was that spinning, whirling, spinning thing that if you got caught underneath it, you know, to the hospital you went. And if you tried to jump on it when it was spinning, to the hospital you mm -hmm. went. <laughs> I mean, it was just one of those deals. But we, all of us, spent countless hours, countless hours. You on know. on one of many uh, city of Tampa recreation. Oh, I, I remember those days too, Mark. You know what? Uh, this this show this season has been so so great, so rewarding. Yes. But what it's done for for us has helped us. We're helping people remember, but also people that and our and our viewers are helping us remember too. Yes. And it's not so much the things that I remember; it's the things that I've forgotten that I've realized that I've forgotten. Right. Which amazes me. Right. It really does. And just when I think I've I've seen or heard every topic or picture or place or restaurant. Someone will post or right. call in and right. talk about something else that I've never heard of before. Like last week with the Vesuvio restaurant. I forgot just, it. Can we talk about yeah, that for let's just talk about a split that. second? That was great. Uh, that was the show with Johnny Sanchez. Mm -hmm. Johnny came on here. For those of you that missed the show, we're so sorry that you missed that show. Because Johnny was an incredible guest. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's on that social networking site. So, you know, you can still go on there and see the show. You, and I would, and I, I, I'm going to implore that you do. Because to be honest with you, he brought uh, some footage to us that we mm -hmm. pared down to about eight minutes, was it? Eight minutes. To about eight mm -hmm. minutes. Rare footage, color footage, nighttime footage of his father's and his grandfather's business, which of course everybody who's from Tampa knows Sinchet signs. They were responsible for all the neon signage mm -hmm. in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, and I think the last sign his father ever made was in the 1980s. Anyway, we're, we're showing this video. Now how serendipitous is this? How mm -hmm. incredible the timing of this. We're showing the video Gentleman by the name of, um, do we have his name? We have that. We have Mr. Cavuto. Was it? Cavuto? I can remember the last name for sure, but I think it was Roland, the first name. Johnny, if you're out there, call us. Fifteen minute grill, if you know. Roger. Roger. Might Roger. have been Roger. Roger Cavuto. Okay. Close. I'm close on that. He's flipping through the channels. He's 82, 83 years old. He's flipping through the channels. He happens upon mm -hmm. channel 30. Mm -hmm. He happens upon <laughs> that video, the, our show. He happens upon the moment. That, that video is showing, and it shows the image of the neon sign of his pizza parlor from the 50s. Vesuvio's. Or the 60s. Italian restaurant. And then, to make it even more interesting, he calls us, and he tells us. I mean, that old, raspy Italian voice, hey, I was watching your show, I love the show, I seen the show, and as a pizza, I used to make pizzas in the window, and that's how I got people. Yeah, throw them up in the air, and yeah. And Steve and I are sitting here 
completely frozen, mm -hmm. wondering, you know, what kind of magic is this show creating for mm -hmm. everybody out there? Because we know what it's doing mm -hmm. for us. And he's still out there watching, hopefully. That Maybe was another. Call us tonight and wish us a, mm -hmm. a Feliz Navidad in Italian <laughs> or something. That would be kind of cool. How about that image there? That brings Talk back, about that one for that a second. That brings back a lot of memories for me, Mario. Um, Hillsborough High School, I graduated in 78, mm -hmm. and all of our football games, we would go afterwards to Shaggy's Pizza. And that was the one, of course, there was two, two or three in Tampa, but the one we went to was on Florida and Waters, right over the hump. Yes. You know? Yes. And right behind the cash and carry. But those were some good times. They had a piano player in there playing the piano, and you could watch, Park. watch them making the pizzas. Right, Naki Parker was the mm -hmm. name of the piano player. But uh, great, great memories. Great. Yeah, there was another one mm -hmm. on Southdale Mabry as well. There That's was. the one that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when we were at uh, Jefferson there, they used to have mm -hmm. what they called uh, the uh, Bunch of Lunch. Bunch O Lunch. <laughs> I remember that. And it was like two ninety nine. It was the predecessor to what they have at CeCe's now. And you go over there for two ninety nine, all the pizza you can eat. And then you go back and you try to stay awake in English class in fifth period. And, of course, that was futile. Uh, <laughs> on top of that, you had to go to football practice after that. And that was even worse because you're, st <laughs> you're still, you know, with, you, got this, uh, you got the afternoon stuff going after filling your belly. Now, look at that picture real quick. Tell, tell us what that is. Or that's the uh, that's Richard um, Gonsmart's family. Yes, it is. That's the what the 50th that's anniversary. Mayor Curtis Hickson. Mm -hmm. That's uh, Caesar Gonsmart. That's Casimiro Jr. Mm -hmm. That's Adela, and that's Carmita, which is uh, Richard's grandmother. And that's the 50th anniversary of the Columbia Restaurant. So that's circa 1954. You got an email there, real quick. We, we've got an email. Please read that. Let's take a look at this. This is from uh, Mike Beluha. Mike Beluha is the one who made that beautiful video with a song with the, I can't get out of my head now. But yeah. it's, it's, thanks, Mike. Oh, thank you, Mike. <laughs> Anyway, he writes, uh, once again, my favorite show was the Neon Sign Extravaganza, the one we were just talking about. Neon Sign. And it was incredibly fascinating and informative. And John was an extremely elo eloquent speaker. As for future shows, local bands, mm -hmm. clubs, and hangouts of our youth, the cigar industry, Beach Week, and finally, Noche Buena and Christmas in Tampa. Congratulations on a successful season, guys. Uh, Bolita number is 18. Let's 18. write down 18 okay, for 18 Mike. 18 for Mike. You got that? Yep. Okay. 18 for Mike. Mike. And apparently, if I heard you correctly, I, and you know, I might not have because I've mm -hmm. got an earpiece here and I can't hear so well out of the other ear. Did he invite us over to his house for Noche Buena? Is that what happened? He did. Thanks, Mike. We'll Thank be over. Mike. I'm bringing the 15 girl, <laughs> minute girl with me. So, oh yeah, Papa, put some more lechon on because here we go. Look at that picture right there. That's the one. We had a caller, caller, call back. I don't know what's happening tonight, yep. but for some reason tonight they're they're not holding the line as long, or people are mm -hmm. hanging up. Either one, I'm not sure which. Yeah, please and call back. They're call hanging up. up. But that's. Stevie, we talked about this before we went on the air. This is the one. This is your favorite picture, too. I think it, it is my favorite my, it's picture. It's mine, too. It just, it just has so much. It's mm -hmm. so visual. Uh, you know, we talked about, the, you know, the cars, uh, mm -hmm. the fact that the, the neon signs, the street was ablaze with neon signage, uh, unique colors that, that, you know, that were only made for a couple of years when the neon sign was actually created. Uh, and in addition to that, I just want you all to feast your eyes on the incredible, fabulous stupendous parallel parking <laughs> job there because those cars are inches apart. I don't know how they uh, did that. How the heck did they get them in there? Now those are big cars. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name Oops. and where you're calling. Call. Well, I'm getting frustrated tonight. But look at the parallel parking job, brother. That is incredible. Did you see that? Oh, uh, yeah. How'd they get them in there? And this picture, too. When Johnny, How'd they get them out? Oh, uh, that's one at a time. When, Very carefully. <laughs> when, uh, when Johnny was on the show talking about this picture, he mentioned the historical value of mm -hmm. the photo yeah. because of the fact that it was only a certain time frame where these, these certain colors were available. Yeah. And uh, so the photo itself has historical value yes. to it, but it's just a beautiful visual. No, it is. It's got it all. It shows Tampa a whole different world. You know, just when it was alive, when you would go downtown to go shopping. Now as the city moved forward you know, north and spread out, shopping centers went with it. Nighttime. So who's this, who's this playing I baseball? I don't know. But uh, whoever that is, let me tell you something. He's about to bring it. He's about to bring it right there. That's, he's, uh, that's he's, Mario Nunez. Yeah, he's got the leg kick going. Uh, if you look closely, he's got his eyes closed. He doesn't know where he's going to throw it. Just about to turn that loose. Well, hey, look who's here. Oh, there she oh, is. Hi, boys. 15 minutes ago. Hi there. It's that special time again. Already? Only this time it's a little different. We got a lot more We only to show. have 15 minutes for the season. Oh, ouch. Oh, the season. That sounds oh, worse. season, yes. But I just wanted to send my personal thank yous right to, the camera there. Tell to Mr. Mm -hmm. Mario Nunez oh, and to Mr. Good. Steve Canella. Thank you. Because I know what is what goes on to make this show happen and how much hard work and effort that they put in every week so that uh, we can bring memories back to all you people. Mm -hmm. And to Mr. Nunez, yes, 
I want to thank you personally yes. for pushing me out in front of the camera because <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah. And we have 15 That's minutes good. left. And thank all of you viewers. We love all of you. See you next season. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. We appreciate that. And, and you know what? I, 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 knew, I knew it, Zeke. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, we, we're probably going to lose her. You know, her contract's <laughs> going to expire. She's going to want more money like Derek Jeter. She's going to want an extension on Maybe her contract. Maybe we can renegotiate. But then again, you know, uh, that, that worked off pretty well for Jerry Seinfeld, you know. Yeah. Still collecting residuals on all that stuff. And, you know, based on what the 15-Minute Girl just said, I'd like to take a moment just to thank on behalf of myself, Mario, and the 15-Minute Girl, and uh, Jeff, our producer. Jeff Hans. Just thank you to all our viewers, to um, all our loyal fans for ma helping making this show a success. It's been a great experience for all of us, and I just want to thank you all on behalf of all of us. And you all made the show successful. So keep the calls coming, keep the memories flowing, and we, in fact, there's a phone call right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll save my comments for just a okay. minute. I got a little misty eye, Joe Steve. I don't okay. mind telling you, I got a little misty eye. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi, my name is Sherry. I'm calling from Sefner. Hi, Hi Sherry, Sherry from Sefner. Are you a first time caller? Yes, I am. I'm actually a first time viewer. Oh, oh well, that's in. Uh, how'd, how'd you find the show, Sherry? Um, actually, my cousin uh, is going to be, it was going to be on the show. He sent his picture in. And I tuned in to see the picture, and you guys are great. Well, thank you so, so I'm, much. I'm a Tampa native. Thank you so much, Sherry. Tell us your cousin's name. We'll call up the picture so you can see it. Um, PJ Testa. Oh, oh, here we go. We okay. just we just saw Mr. Testa today. Phil is terrific. Jeffrey, just take a second, and if you could, for Sherry, mm -hmm. find the picture. It's uh, Mr. Testa. He was probably the the third from the end. The second or third from the last of the very first pictures of the Tampa natives fans. Um, he had a green shirt on. That's exactly right. If you can see that in the little window that you're looking, Sherry, we're so we're so glad that you're with us. Listen, we have had a ball. This is the 14th week of production. We're going to go on a little short hiatus for about four mm -hmm. weeks, but we'll be back starting Janu the week of January the 4th. Uh, certainly, if you are a member of that social networking uh, site uh, that everybody's mm -hmm. on these days, mm -hmm. you can find mm -hmm. us there. Can we use the name, Jeffrey? Is it okay? Okay, Phil Testa. Oh. Philip oh, Testa yeah. is, is the name of the picture you want to look up. So if you're on, uh, was it Race Cook? Yeah, it sounds like Race Cook. I can't say that what I need to say, but you know, it's, we're not supposed to Well, there's to fan that. pages on there. Yeah, there's, there, it's, so look for us there. And, of course, if you're still in contact with PJ, are you in contact mm -hmm. with Mr. Testa? Oh, yeah. Then just mm -hmm. call him. And call him and ask mm -hmm. him, hey, when's the next showing? When's that show going to be back on? And, and we'll let him know mm -hmm. so you can tune in. Keep watching, because Jeffrey's looking for that picture now. We'll mm -hmm. show his picture here in just a minute. We saw him this morning. He's doing great, mm -hmm. and he's one of our bigger fans. Where'd you go to high school, Sherry? Hillsboro, 83, class of 83. Oh, oh you're just okay. behind Steve. Yeah, I went to Hillsboro also. Yeah, yeah I went to uh, West Shore Elementary and um, Van Buren Junior High. Played ball in Sulphur Springs Little League. You're a Tampa native. Yes, you are a Tampa native. <laughs> Listen, we're going to have a little drawing here in just a minute or two. We'd like to get a, a, a one of your lucky number between 0, 1, and 75. Um, we're going to have a drawing, and hopefully you'll, you'll get a chance to win uh, this little prize we're going to give away. Do you have a favorite lucky number? I do, number 7. Oh, okay. lucky number 7. That's my lucky number. Mickey Mantle. All right. Sherry, thank you so much for tuning in. Keep watching, because we're going to roll through the pictures, and we'll get, we'll get back around to, to Phil's picture here in just a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you. Thanks thank for you, Sherry. watching. Thank you. I'll, uh -huh. I'll be watching more. Happy holidays. Great. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Just just keep rolling through them and you go back to the top and you'll get them. Caller, you're on the air. Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hi, it's Tiki Communist. Oh, well, hey, Tiki. Tiki, thanks for calling. We were hoping that you'd call. You've been watching us each and every week and you're finally getting around to calling. Thank you. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tiki, is it, uh, are you having a little peppermint schnapps? <laughs> Sounds like you might be having a little nip. Hey, Tiki. Yes, sir. Tell us your favorite show from the season that you remember. Well, actually, tonight is my favorite show. Is really? it really? Why? Because it seems like you're making new memories. Okay. Okay. Tiki, you know That's what? Cool. Tiki, I, uh, we're going to have to put you on the production staff. You've got a lot of good ideas, too. Did you watch it from the <laughs> beginning? I watched it on and off from the beginning. I mean, tonight, did you, did you catch Mike Baluha's song at the beginning? Absolutely. Yeah, oh, good, that was good. something special. We're going to reprise that again. You know, we got nine minutes to go. Gosh, we're going to reprise that song. We're going to mm -hmm. let everybody listen to it one more time because I just exactly. can't get enough of it. Tiki, mm -hmm. are we going to see you on Friday? Yes, yes you are. All right, well, good. Let's talk about that tomorrow. Make sure that you call me, let me know, or call Steve and let us know what we need to do 
to meet up with you. We're going to be going to that football game on Friday over there uh, off of West Shore and Trask because the and Jefferson it's called Jefferson Dragons. Jefferson Dragons are going to be doing a little thing Friday night on their way to a state championship. They got a real good team this year. Just so is Robinson. We can't and we can't not mention Robinson because Robinson's mm -hmm. still out there. Armwood too. Robinson's mm -hmm. still out there doing their thing. Tiki between zero and seventy-five, sweetie. Give us your lucky number. Oh, oh, Tiki, but Hugh Parrott already got that. that number. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm sorry, honey. Give me another one. 51. 51? 51. All okay. right, we'll take it. She doubled it. Yes, she... 51. 51, right? 51. 51. All right, well, listen, thank you for being one of our fans. We know that you've been there on and off this season, but you... You watch the show. Look at look at that. Doc, look at that guy. Look at that guy. <laughs> Dr. Paul Pilgrim. There huh? he is. <laughs> Can't get enough of him. I know. That was just... Hey, Tiki, you still there? I'm still here. Doesn't Stevie look good with dark hair? Come on, tell the truth. What is it? Doesn't he look good with dark hair? Can, can, tell him he needs to grow a beard like that. <laughs> and, and my hair longer, too. I like the eyebrows. That's my personal favorite. I like the hat, actually. I think I should wear that more often. <laughs> with a belt buckle on my yes, head. Yes, it know? is. Well, Tiki, listen, thank you so much for, again, being there. We look forward to, to watching the game with you on Friday. It's going to be cold. We better dress warmly. Oh, yes. Don't worry. We're going to have fun. We're going to win. Yes, we are. I think we are. I think we are. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tiki. First season. Thank you. Thanks, Tiki. Ready. Good night. Oh, yeah, we got an email from uh, Happy Holidays. our fan from uh, Brazil, Rick Look, Parnell. Oh, Rick Par Ricky Rick Par Parnell. Ricky T. Parnell. Look at that 15-minute girl great, with a turkey on a her head. <laughs> great picture, honey. Go ahead. And anyway, he writes, uh, Rick Parnell writes, great season. Perhaps next one you can go way back and TT Town, Tampa Town history with mm -hmm. a Tamukan Indians, Fort Brook, and Teddy Roosevelt, and the Rough Riders, as well as Buffalo Soldiers. Thanks, DSC Rick. That's our that's, that's our independent okay. correspondent from uh, Curitiba, Brazil. That's going and, way back. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and go. Uh, I wasn't around then, so I, you know we're gonna have to go to Dan. We're gonna have to go to Johnny and get the historian to come in here and, and do something. There's Danny. There he You're is. Speaking of Dan, mm -hmm. we're gonna have to get Dan to come out here and do that. Hey, we better get to this. Uh, we got some announcements to go. That's with right, about we how do. many minutes? Six minutes to go, boss. Some special thank yous too. Six minutes in the mm -hmm. last yeah we all right let's do this drawing real quick you got your numbers here's this, your numbers this hour goes by just way too fast oh morning. my goodness don't let me mess this up oh, no. not like me. last time you yeah, know don't let me mess this okay. up here i'll pick the number you hold the bag i'll pick the number you oh, hold okay the bag. okay okay i'll pick the number you hold the bag because i have a tendency to not do this right <laughs> just here we go ladies and gentlemen and the lucky bolita drawing winner is wow from zero to 75 ladies and gentlemen 75 no is the way. lucky number. That's 75, weird. and the winner is? The winner is Tiki. Tiki! How about wow. that? On your first call to the show, Tiki, it wasn't rigged, I promise. <laughs> it wasn't. For those of you that are home going, yeah, that's... Well, that's she fun. chose 23 at first. Yep. Ladies it. and gentlemen, and this is what Tiki's won. The... My cookbook. Your, your cookbook. <laughs> Steve's cookbook that was, was never going to be used. <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. We'll bring it to you on Friday, Tiki. That's great. Okay. We don't have a caller right now, so why don't we do this before we run out of time? We've got some special, special thank yous that we need, absolutely need to, um, and we want to we want to be able to show that Mike Blue has video again as well. So keep absolutely. rolling, keep rolling those mm -hmm. pictures. We want to get to the picture of Phil mm -hmm. Testa. Keep going back to the fan pictures at the very beginning, if you would, Jeff. And in the meantime, let's roll with some of these special thank yous. Let's do that, Mar. You, you can start. Want me to start? Yeah. Caller, we see you there. Please stay on the line. Uh, first of all, we'd like to thank Mr. Richard Gonsmart. Uh, who stepped up right. when we needed some funding for this uh, effort to put on this show. And if, if, it's, if Richard and his kindness and his generosity doesn't uh, help us along, we're probably not on the air. So, Richard, un abrazo, un beso. Thank you so much. Happy holidays to you and your family for being there for us. Also, Mike Beluha for his wonderful work with the graphics throughout the show, not just today's uh, graphic with the song, which we'll be playing shortly, but just his help throughout the whole entire season. Thank you, Mike. Contributions invaluable. And music. To to Mr. Lupinella and Mr. Bucky Della Torre, thank you guys for gracing our stage, our, our set, and uh, for sharing your memories and allowing us to be uh, a part of this uh, special show. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you again next season. And also, Johnny Sinchet, thank you for uh, your unique perspective on Tampa and Tampa's neon history and just the uh, historical value of Tampa. For Mr. Uh, to Mr. Dan Perez, Danny, did, did, we, did we miss... We need, go back two. Go back two pictures. Go back. There he is. There's Phil. Get us out of there. We'll talk over and let Sherry see uh, Phil Testa on that picture. <clears throat> to Mr. Dan Perez, who's our archivist and a guy that keeps us honest over here. Because if we ever make a mistake, Danny's the first one to point that out. Mm -hmm. Danny, we know you're out there. Thank you, brother. We appreciate all your time and your efforts. Everett Montill, photographer to the stars. 
Yeah, photographer to the stars. Ever, <laughs> thanks for making that trip to from Orlando to help mm -hmm. us chronicle that magical night with with Lou and Bucky. And you go ahead and take the next one as well, Steve. Okay, that's uh, special thanks to Audrey Lazera. She was uh, Dr. Paul's scare dresser. Did all the makeup and everything. So great job, Audrey. To our fans, in particular, to Mr. Gary Ippolito. Gary, thank you so much for contributing your Barry the Hatchet coffin boxes. We appreciate that. We'll use them again next season. Mike Padrinan, Orlando correspondent. Big Mike P. He just mm -hmm. called a little while mm -hmm. ago. To Mr. Hugh Parrott, Tampa native show. It's like ice cream. <laughs> Walton Betty Allen and niece Karen having us over for, um, for the afternoon. It was a fantastic time. Thank you. And to Frank Constantino, uh, making us a member of the Wen Wednesday Lunch Bunch. We, Franny, we love you. What, can, what else can I say? I second that. And also Edie Strickland and offering tickets to her event, which we gave away. To Mr. Phil Testa, who you mm -hmm. see right there on your screen, mm -hmm. who's a great fan of ours and one of our, uh, he's going he's gonna to be one of our sponsors in the upcoming season. Welcome to the family of sponsors. So and thank you. Thank you. And also Juan and Amariri uh, Santayana, Amariri's Restaurant. Ricky T. Parnell, our international correspondent and our most remote viewer from Brazil. Thank you, Ricky, for always being there. To our wonderful callers, viewers, and emailers. This show would be not as cool if you weren't participating the way you do. And believe me, we, we feel the love each and every week. The show would not be possible without you guys. Um, reminder, real quick, that there are still a few people out there that haven't submitted their uh, entree choices. How many, how many minutes we got left, Jeffrey? Two and a half minutes. Okay, real quick, let me read out a few names. Uh, Marlene Maceda Lee, uh, yep, uh, Denny, Denny Holt, Nancy Holt, uh, Tim Menendez, Cindy Menendez, Alex and, and Kathy Sanchez, uh, Vince Calora, Bre uh, Brenda Rouse. We need to hear from you guys. Uh, Jolene uh, Patain, uh, Elaine Weiner, and Tiki Communis. Let us know, let us know what mm -hmm. your entree choices are. Listen, that's salute and mm -hmm. happy days. We've got a couple of minutes mm -hmm. left. Do we have enough time to, sh to play the video one more time? Okay. Let's, let's... Why don't we just do this, Stevie? Mm -hmm. Take us out of here. I want to thank everybody again for uh, making the show the success that it was. And we couldn't have done it without you. It's been a wonderful experience for all of us. And thanks for sharing your memories. And, and sharing your memories has never been this much fun. Salute and happy days, everybody. We love you. Happy holidays. Be safe over the holidays. We'll see you after the new year. Take us out of here with a little bit of Mike Baluha's new Salute. music. And happy days. Salute and happy days. We love you, Tampa. Thanks for letting us come into your home every Wednesday. Remember Tampa, the way she used to be, the places we would run to, the faces we would see. Yes, I remember Tampa, the sweet of memory, a city rising on the move, a simple yet progressive groove. Yes, I remember Tampa. She remembers me. I'm a Tampa native. Tampa native, can't you see? I will share my story with you to preserve its history. I, I remember, I remember.